Welcome to RC Robotics and this is Top 5 VR Flight Simulators for the Quest 2. In the number 5 we've got Simple Planes. Simple Planes is a game that came out on the 17th of December 2021 and I've been playing it ever since. It's a fantastic VR title on the Quest 2 and yeah, this is by Jundru Games. They started the game off as an app on your phone and then they went over to VR title and it's absolutely fantastic. You can upload your own creations from the app through the internet and then play them in VR. This is the house helicopter, the Huey and it features uh, all these interactable switches inside the cockpit such as the rocket pods, front mounted cannons and there's also side mounted cannons. You can uh, also spawn all sorts of different vehicles from aircraft to helicopters to even ground mounted vehicles in different missions. If helicopters aren't your thing and this VTOL Harrier is then it is absolutely fantastic to hone in your hovering skills and um, you can fly it VTOL as I did say or you can fly it as a fighter jet. Also in Simple Planes it gives you the option to in air refuel. Simple Planes comes in at a modest $7.99 on the App Lab. In at number 4 we have Ultra Wings 2. Ultra Wings 2 came out the 14th of April 2022 and it's a little title from BitPlanet Games. As you can tell by the name, it's the second in the Ultra Wings installment and in both those games you have to stick this helmet on to start the game, which is one of my favourite things. This is one of my favourite aircraft in the whole game, the little mosquito helicopter. comes with full control, cyclic, collective and rudder pedals for you to whip around all the different environments that Ultra Wings give you. To progress through the game you basically have to earn enough money to buy new airfields and buy new aircraft by doing different missions like popping balloons, uh, going through little assault courses and even dogfighting. The game also features a multiplayer mode online with the P-51 uh, which you can dogfight with the P-51 online with friends or complete strangers. This is also a great aircraft in Ultra Wings, it's the little Christian Eagle 3D model and as you can see, one of the things I was talking about with dynamics, if you look at the key ring inside the ignition, you can see that is floating around and also going down with the same place that the, uh, the gravity is holding. Now one of the main things I love about Ultra Wings also is the fact that they listen to their customers. So I'm part of the Discord server of the actual Ultra Wings, which the developers are themselves are in this Discord. And the, one of the main things that we the customers weren't happy about was the, the stick, the actual control stick was making noises when you touched it. So they actually put a feature in that lets you turn that uh, sound effect off. The P-51 is absolutely brilliant for landing and dogfighting. I love these uh, the little Reaper drones that you can shoot down. This is just one of the missions, there's plenty of other missions where you can dogfight with different aircraft. In the future they have uh, installments for different DLCs where you can d download different aircraft and maybe different scenery. The Little Mosquito Helicopter also features that you can do a little auto rotation. Ultra Wings is currently on the uh, store at $14.99. In a number 3 we have Warplanes Battles Over the Pacific. This game comes from HomeNet Games and it came out on the 11th of August 2022. In my own opinion it is one of the best games for graphics on this video and yeah you get all your little classic aircraft from your Corsairs to your P-51 Lightning to your P-38 Lightning and also your Spitfire which is my favourite aircraft. One of my favourite things about this game also is this main menu where you just sit in on the uh, deck of an aircraft carrier with these boards and you can move around the boards and move around the aircraft. Now the dog fighting in this game is really really intense, it makes you feel elated, it makes you feel frustrated and it also makes you feel happy and sometimes it even makes you feel scared. Um, you go through all these emotions inside this cockpit and it's so immersive. It really really does give you a, a game feel of what it must have been like inside these tiny little cockpits over the, over the Pacific fighting on your own or with your wingman um, when you're in war and there's always something to do there's always uh, an objective to clear there's aircraft to shoot down you can ground targets with AA stations and um, cars, trains and even boats to blow up uh, with the boats you can use torpedoes or rockets 
on a 50 cal cannon and a regular cannon. This game is on the market at the moment at $14.99. Coming in at number two, we got the Archer. Now I know what you're thinking, is VR chat a play simulator? And it turns out it actually is. Even though it's a platform for talking to your friends online in VR, you can also enter these little worlds. These little worlds are around about 800 to 900 megabyte that you download, and then it's just basically just got these little skins of different models of different aircraft that you can get in and actually fly. Now the terrain of the actual scenery is seems to be off Google Maps, and then they just paint over where things are supposed to be. Um, or they'll just use the actual terrain from Google Maps or add actual 3D buildings in as you can see in the distance. Different worlds come with different models so this one comes with this Llama helicopter, a 737 um, airliner and then behind the helicopter there's also a little four-seater single-engined aircraft which you can get in and fly. The, uh, the controls of the aircraft are a little bit challenging once you first get in them, but once you get the hang of them, then they're really quite easy to fly, and you've just got to be gentle with the, uh, the controls and the sticks. But one of the best things about VR Chat is that you can have anybody, any stranger, or you can have also um, your friends in the cockpit with you, and you can talk to them while you fly around. This is another my favourite thing that you can interact with things on the ground such as the chocks under the wheels or you can also go on the little pushback thing here. If you are on the uh, VR chat you can also click the little new instance and create a private room for yourself or your friends if you don't want strangers to come into the lobby uh, sometimes because it, it can be hard to get hold of an aircraft for yourself when there's you know four or five strangers in the actual lobby. The, uh, the fixed wing aircraft are a little bit more challenging to fly I would think than the helicopters in this game and yeah it's, uh, it's like I do say you just sort of gotta keep practicing until you get the hang of it but then once you're in it this is the sort of you know thing you got. You've got working maps inside, working avionics, and you've also got autopilot engagement. You've got different features on these little um, things on the left-hand side, which you choose with the joystick on the gamepad. VR chat is absolutely free. And in at number one is World Flight. World Flight isn't as well known as the other games on this uh, video, but it did come out on the 28th of September and it's by Zero Gravity Games. Now on World Flight there is only two aircraft to choose from, there's this helicopter and the fixed wing aircraft. But basically World Flight uses uh, Google Maps as its terrain and then loads 3D buildings where they should be uh, in real life. So basically the best thing about World Flight is the interaction with the, uh, the cockpit, the actual graphics on the cockpit and the dynamics of how the aircraft actually works. So in this helicopter um, if you can overspeed the rotors you can put too much pitch on put too much pitch on the the nose goes up and down so you really need to find that finite sort of in between bit where you get the throttle just right and your collective just right so the helicopter controls itself just perfectly another thing i love about this world flight is that because it uses google maps you can uh, fly around your own hometown so that was me flying around in my own hometown of chester and this is flying around in japan and as you can see this is the uh, the fixed wing version of the plane and as I did say some of the best features of it is the interaction so you can interact with this uh, beautiful screen inside the cockpit and you can choose different um, places to go, different waypoints and use autopilot, uh, use the radar and also use its uh, map and there's also dynamic features with the actual aircraft in 
the scenery, as you can see here, there's also turbulence. The cost of this game on the market is $10.99, which is okay for the price, but do be in mind, it's still in development. Thank you for joining us here at RC Robotics today. If you like this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, it's just up there in the corner. And if you'd like to see any more of my videos, I'll stick them in each individual corner available. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.